got to pick up our dry cleaning. Oh, I think Lou Malnati's is up here. Maybe we can get lunch there. And ice cream. Let's get ice cream. Do we need anything at the hardware store? The pharmacy. We both have prescriptions. You just missed the turn. Car wash is coming up here. Probably get this thing washed. There's the bank. Didn't you say you needed cash? Just passed a red light. Michael, you can't stop, can you? I have no I have no brakes. to the hangar hideout. Now here I am again with the raddest of dad wagons. And if you saw last episode, you notice there's a lot of things that need to get done. The thing that I really want to address first because it was terrifying driving at home is probably the brakes. So the brakes themselves, I guess, weren't too, too bad, but this car has been sitting for literal years. So why not just get some new brakes? Plus, I can't even bleed the brakes because some of the calipers the bleeder screw is so rusted off that it's just a circle. It's not like a 10 mil or anything. How's about we go ahead and get started on this project because Rad Dad Mobile needs to hit the ground running. So we're gonna start with the brakes and then we'll do the calipers as the brakes come off. Also, if you're watching and you don't know how to do brakes, you're about to learn how to do brakes by a guy who can barely walk and speak at the same time. Brakes are pretty simple. Maybe not on a rust bucket like this, but it's really only four bolts. You got two on the caliper here, which I've already taken off. And then you have two more holding the caliper bracket on. Take those off and we're in business. As a note, don't let your caliper hang around. You don't want to mess up your brake line. You're already doing brakes. Why do a brake line? So you could tie it up to rusted suspension. You could lay it right on a control arm. Just don't let it dangle. Use a zip tie, metal wire, staple it. Just don't let it hang. Man, let me tell you, I, uh, I don't always enjoy working on rusted cars. So next, caliper comes off, and then, and then you're done. You do the opposite. You already know how to do brakes. Also going to go ahead and replace the caliper since that one's rusted the bleeder screw is like all but gone super easy all you have to do is take off that brake line and put it on this one and you're done don't forget to have something to catch your brake fluid here again super easy just that bolt and two washers. You're done. Let's put these pads on. Make sure your little wear tab here is on the inside at the bottom. You're welcome, fun fact. All right, we're done with this one. Let's go all the way around, shall we? I got the bracket off on the passenger side. I wanna clean it up, but also don't forget to check your pins here. They should move freely. Or, you'd be like this guy. She's stuck. Just like everything else, it's rusted. So, we gotta get that out of there, clean it up, or just replace it. But, first things first, we gotta get it out of there. That's gonna be fun. Oh yeah, that's gonna be fun. So once you got those pins broke free, you take them out, you grease them up, it's time to put it back on the car and it'll look a little something like this. Okay, so it's not the original one, but I didn't, ha I didn't have time. I didn't have time to do it. That's the whole premise of this show. Is, I don't, you know, we only have a couple hours a day, maybe if that. Is 
Either way, now that we got this put back together, let's throw it back on the car. Don't forget to spray, spray, spray with some brake clean. We only have one more to go, and then we bleed the brakes. So we have some fun back here. Once again, the calipers, caliper bracket, the pins, they're all, they're all seized. Welcome to working on Midwest cars that were made in the 90s and sat for like a very long time. Either way, this shit's rusted on there. So I found one on eBay for like 30 bucks. So we're gonna do that. The other interesting thing you'll find, are these are the uh, fancy disc brakes with drum brakes on the inside for the e-brake. So we're just gonna bang the hell out of this rotor, get it out, and we're gonna swap this caliper. Then we're, then we're done. We'll, we'll bleed the brakes. But then we could drive it, and we could finally fulfill our rad dad in a rad wagon lifestyle. Well, uh, what you just saw was me slamming my finger in between a bunch of rusted parts over here. And uh, now, I ha now I have a glove on, so I don't bleed everywhere. I swear, I do not know how I don't have tetanus already. Because every time I work on a car, I bleed. What about you? Is that just me? I swear, every car I work on, in the first 15 minutes, I'm bleeding. Maybe I just suck at working on cars. So since we're changing the calipers, we definitely need to bleed the brakes now. But we were going to anyways, but like now you totally need to. Even on the new caliper, bolts were seized. So I had to bolt it back up so I could take the caliper bracket off of the caliper. And can I say something? Why is it that every car that I work on that's not on the motor I can't use any of my electric impacts. So far, it would make life so much easier. Well, that's life. If life was easy, everyone would be a mechanic and cars would run forever. And I would be president of the United States. We'll go ahead and grease these after we get this rotor off. In typical fashion, the rotor is seized down there. We could loosen up the e-brake in the back through the drum brakes. I don't know how I'm gonna get back there. I wish I was in the hangar or the big garage, anywhere with a lift. Probably would have been so much easier. We did it, yay! So if you take a look in there, this is where the drum brakes are. You know where all like your asbestos is? Read it and weep it. This sucks. This is dumb. I don't like that. Oh, throw these caliber brackets back on. And then we are so close to victory. Make sure this one is on the inside. Don't do it the other way around like I just did. Do as I say, not as I do. I'm turning into my father. God damn. Well, our brakes are all buttoned up, ready to go. Now it's time to put the wheels on and take her for a test drive and I can finally fulfill my dream of cruising around the rad dad wagon. But now I'll, I'll actually be able to stop and this will be one of very many projects we need to do to make this car like really safe to drive. Huh? that'll be on the next episode. Since you made it this far, don't forget to give us a like, a comment, and subscribe. It really helps out the channel and I just would, would super appreciate it. I want to thank you guys for making it this far, and mostly, thank you for hiding out. Hi, me again. I was talking to the camera and it was on the picture. Compress. I was gonna say compress the caliper piston. You should be good at this motion. I could finally drive this and it stop. Which I can't escape it. Whether I'm at the hangar 
or I'm in the garage, or I'm in the big garage. There's planes everywhere. And people like to travel for hiding out. Designed for free kittens!